everybody, welcome back to the channel and the first episode of my Duelist series. So this is going to be, as request, we're going to start from the very, very beginning uh, and go through all the settings and stuff that I'm going to use to play this campaign. Now, I know I asked, let's just start with the new, new uh, campaign here. So I know I asked um, a couple of questions. One, what mech are we going to start with? And the second, what uh, company are we going to be along with? And the answer for the company was do to do Royal Mex. So Royal Mex puts us in clan space. And I wasn't intending on starting in clan space. Um, so I asked another question, should I just like, choose a different start or should we jump all the way into the inner sphere? And then there was a comment. Most people said, just go ahead, jump to the inner sphere. And then there was a comment saying, or you could just tough it out. And I'm like, okay, what would that look like? So now I'm thinking, because of my original idea was going to be the person was, um, his uh, family was killed um, during the clan invasion. Um, but he was betrayed. The person, like his uh, uh, father, was betrayed by, um, ended up being betrayed by um, the unit that he was with, and ended up the unit ended up getting him killed. So the pilot was our, our main character is now uh, found this out several years later, and now is attempting to exact revenge on the individuals that brought about his father's death. Right. So he's being helped by this um, group. Um, of uh, um, not necessarily mercenaries, but they're supplied by a friend of his father's who actually found out the information. Um, so he sends this this group, which would be the the um, the uh, royal mechs, um, to give this guy some help to go and track down his his father's um, betrayers, I guess. But then I'm like, okay, well that's not that's okay, I guess. There's like there's. A variety of different ways we could do this but then I'm like okay well if we stay in clan space what's the story gonna be and the story is this it's very it's gonna it's gonna be very very similar to this but we're gonna say that um, this mech warrior was part of operation serpent which was attacking um, the smoke jaguar homeworld of huntress and that's why I, I'm assuming why when you start with a Royal Mech start, because basically it's like all the um, Comstar forces attack Huntress, right? So which is why they've got all these Royal Mechs, right? All the old Mechs. So the idea is that he's attached to this company, right? And so we're going to start off in clan space. We're going to do a bit of fighting in clan space. And then what's going to happen is he's going to find out that you know, um, his family's been killed, and then when the battle at Huntress ends, he's going to head home, but this group comes with him. So that's, I mean, yeah, okay, it's it's a stretch, but that's kind of how we're going to play it. So we're going to have a few duels here in clan space. We'll have a few battles with the Royal Max against, um, against some clan targets, um, and then we'll end up jumping back home. So we'll pick up a little bit of clan gear before we leave, but not a lot. And it, but you know, who knows? If, if you guys are enjoying the fighting in clan space, then maybe we stay. I don't know. That's just, it's just harder to to um, to uh, give a good reason for why there's a the, like the duelist is actually fighting soil and mechs. Maybe he's just he's ex he's the guy that they they send to accept challenges, um, individual. Uh, um, calls or whatever it is like you know i challenge you too so he's gonna be like solo fighting people so yeah we'll see how this we'll see how this goes now i'm gonna put this down to three normally i don't go this low for mech assembly parts but i'm gonna go three because it's gonna be very hard for our duelist to be able to put some mechs together and stuff like that so we'll go that route wrote in a higher chance i'm gonna turn down to 10 percent i'm not totally opposed to them being there but we'll turn it down these are the named pilots that we get during um the campaigns i much prefer just the the random low level pilots that we can find um that's just personal preference so we're going to go there uh starting money once again this is not uh, this playthrough is not designed to see how the company goes it's just to, to play and have fun so i'm going to go maximum uh sea bills just so that we have you know if for whatever reason we are having trouble making financial report 
this is the reason like we'll be able to do it for quite a while before we need to start making money once again the main pilot um, I'm going to be recording all the C-bills that he gets so he'll only be allowed to spend the C-bills that he makes and he'll only be able uh, allowed to use the salvage that he gets from his missions the other guys they can do whatever they want to do but that's what we're going to do here plus this this amount of money um, if we do decide to, to jump to the inner sphere we're definitely going to need that that amount of sea bills to be able to get the hell out of here and get to the inner sphere because uh, it is a huge amount of uh, sea bills to get there uh, so that being said, once again, this pilot's going to uh, be a guy with experience because he wouldn't be in clown space unless he, unless he did have some experience. I'm going to put this on slow, the mech warrior progression. I always put it on slow. It's just something I've always done. I like a, a little slower progression with the pilots. I don't, I, I don't want to go crazy, but just a little slower. Company type, Royal Max, Max recovery, uh, recovery chance is going to be set at 50%. So if we recover, we recover. If we don't, we don't. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with our main pilot. Uh, pilots per system will leave at 5 Contract variance. I'm going to put this down to one. We are in clan space, so I want to try and minimize um, the variance in contracts so we have at least a um, uh, more, more, I guess, to choose from. So if we're at a half skull planet, we'll be half or one skull. We'll have more to choose from, you know, for the mechs that we have to be able to survive. It's going to be tough for, I think, the, uh, the royal mechs to be able to. Um, survive the first little bit I think against the clans but we'll see how it goes advanced mech warriors we can turn it to rare that's what I normally always do pilots per system I usually change this to seven because if we're looking for a pilot um, there's just a, anyway the randomness of this just kind of works out the best and then everything else I just leave it normal so let's go all right here we go so um, where were you born in we're gonna do a um, uh, Curita start which is where are you here we go Draconis Combine. Piloting and Tactics. Uh, the pilot I was going to do was going to be from the Draconis Combine anyway, um, which is even better with the uh, Royal Start because we are going against Smoke Jaguars. Smoke Jaguars attacked Draconis Combine stuff too. So, yeah, that's uh, you know, a good reason for that. Uh, interest has always been. Now, um, there's multiple choices here, and I was, I've been trying to think about what would be the best way to do this. So, uh, Jinxed and Lucky... Starting off with Gambler, I think is probably the best bet. And the reason why I say that is I believe... Um, so, I believe Jink, Jinxed gives you plus one evasion, but minus one defense for melee. But it gives you the plus one of max evasion. But then Lucky is also like... I think gives you clustering bonuses um, and things like that. So, I'm thinking that that's probably... A half decent one. The other one would be uh, Brave plus Assassin. This is the one I normally take, um, but uh, I I think for this playthrough, I remember looking some stuff up, and I believe that this is really probably the best one that we want. Because what I want to try and do is stay as agile um, and hard to hit as I possibly can, and I think this going this route is probably going to help me out long like long term. Because later when the pilots get better and better, the more evasion we have, the more ECM, the more stealth, the more like everything that's going to add to our, um, like for the enemy to, in, like their inability to be able to hit me, the better off we're going to be. Um, so I, I'm not really worried about shooting and things like that. I can get targeting computers and stuff to adjust for all that. Um, but I think these extra bonuses for defense, I think it's probably going to be the better way to go. And then... Um, for the career, I believe it's test pilot because people want me to play Hatchetman. So we're going to do that. Now, pain shunt is the ability to stay awake longer than or to shirk off pain. Um, and gladiator, I can't remember what gladiator gives us. Um, I think it's a, a bonus to hit, like a bonus melee to hit. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's like plus one or plus two flat bonus um, to hit with melee, which is actually pretty good. So, especially if we're going with the Hatcherman. Now, I don't know if we're going to stick with the Hatcherman all the way through. I'm going to try and max this mech out, this mech out as far as it can possibly go. But it's only 45 tons, so it's going to be iffy on how far we can take it. Like, once we get into later stages of the game, hopefully we'll have some half decent mech ch chassis that we can choose from. And if we stay with melee, great. Um, but if not, we'll have to, just have to see how it goes. But we're going to take this one. 
I think we'll keep the two, the uh, the name Voodoo though. I think that's actually not a bad name. Uh, I did have a pilot in mind for this one. Uh, actually, we're gonna change the Voodoo name because I got I got actually another name on my on mind what we can use. So let's go down. Where is he here? Here we go. We're gonna use the Punisher, and we're actually gonna call this pilot um, Vengeance, and we're just gonna go to. Uh, he pronouns and let's choose let's not call him Stevie uh, come on oh uh, I know what I was going to do going to call him Jonathan Jonathan Wiki that's going to be his name yeah. and then we need to go later. and get aye, aye. The I'm drinking wine. And yeah, let's not and catching some. Oh, God, I, I don't want you guys. Come on, I should have gone the other way. Duncan Fisher here. Yeah, Wait. moving on. What yep, moving need? on and moving on and moving on. Welcome, Commander. Talk to me. Reports good to Commander. Standing by. Good to go. Uh, it's not. That? Is yes, it? Commander. Is it yes, Alan? Commander. No, it's Brad. Ready for order, Commander. Yeah, it's the. This game's off. Uh, this game's rigged. He's the guy that I want. So Brad is the uh, our voice. So there we go. Let's just get this sucker started. Save our pilot and let's get going. All right, here we go. Continue. All right, so uh, there we are. Sixty-five million. We're gonna go to navigation first. Check Hello, out where Brad. we're sitting. The Apple may not be fully functional yet. So we are she's at. Shadow. So where is Huntress? Huntress, I thought, was like right up here somewhere at the front. Or am I wrong? Iron hold. There it is there. Yeah, so that's a little bit um, difficult skull-wise for me to grab a mission at. <laughs> so you can see what I mean, though. Like I know there's a, there are a few planets here that might be really low skull level but I don't know like it's easy to say yeah tough it out but unless there's like a half skull world here there's no toughing it out like you know what I mean there is no there's two because that's not too bad they've changed the skull levels of these planets so oh there's a half skull uh, but of course there's like almost nothing there I think there's some just outside of this sphere of influence as well. There's some ghost bear worlds out here. We'll check in a second. I think they're lower skull value, which will probably end up going there. Yeah, so we've only got the one half skull planet. Everything else is beyond our capability, unfortunately. Now, these worlds, I think, are half skull, but there's, like, nothing there. Yeah, but these guys, I think... So that's a two... Nope, nope, and nope, nope, and nope. So a whole lot of nope. Um, so if I'm going to find duels against the clans, it's going to be here at Tiber. And then we've got a one and a half over here somewhere too, so I may have to extend... Where's the one and a half? I thought it was in the back corner here. Is that wrong? You guys saw it, right? There was a one and a half skull planet. There's a two and a half. No. Three and a half. Did I not see? I thought there was a one and a half. I thought for sure there was. Oh, there it is at the back. So that actually might be a better. Well, hmm. Desert world. That might give us an advantage over the clans. I don't know. We might probably going to go there. Just not yet. All right. Um, so uh, we'll worry about this afterwards. Let's have a quick look. Because normally I do all this stuff off camera. I do all the naming and everything before we go into this. But let's have a quick look at the mech bay and see what we're Check up out this with mech here. Bay, Commander. Pretty great, right? Fuck. Not pretty great, huh? Is that what you think? There's nothing. Is that what you're thinking? Because this... Um, doesn't look that great to me. 
Oh man, this is going to be uh, some interesting. Oh, okay, what are we dealing with? Large pulse, medium, small, LRM10, SRM6. Okay, Sentinel might have a Gauss rifle. It does. Medium and small laser. I mean, the benefit is we got all this SLDF gear, but this thing doesn't have a lot of armor. Six six ninety four. How much do you, how much does this guy have? Seven eighty. So that's not bad. So the thorns. Small laser. ER large and medium. So that's not too bad. Does this even a mask as well? Did it say it does? So these two are the same. And then the locust is got. Oh yeah, it's got the mix and match of pulse lasers. One medium, two, and then two small, two medium pulse. Who I'm thinking that this is going to stay at the back for now, and we'll probably go with the ER large thorns. You got 360. How much do you have armor wise? 320. This is a little better armor. We're going to go with the longer range thorns, um, just because if we close with the clan, so I think we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Wavern, not too bad. LRM-10, large pulse. Okay, so we got some range. This is going to be brutal. Okay, uh, let's have a look at the vehicle bay. We got a Cyrano. Really. ER, large laser, Blankenberg. Tag and an a 2 AMS. So that's not too bad. Beagle probe. So that's handy. What are we looking at? 313 for armor. So about the same as a Locust. So, I mean, not too bad. 12-18 move, which means we can stay super agil uh, uh, agile. And a couple of tons of AMS ammo. It's too bad it's not, they're not AMS Mark IIs. So hopefully he can keep himself from getting shot down. Alright. So not, actually I should probably check the battle armor base. No battle armor. Alright. Uh, okay. Oh man, this is going to be interesting. Alright, let's have a look at the barracks. We haven't got the hatchetman yet, but we're going to have a look at the barracks. Oh, man, our pilots. I know I hamstringed myself, but I was hoping there was going to be some guy that was going to be at least uh, semi-good. So this one isn't actually that bad. I mean, lousy gunnery, but we've got piloting, which is pretty good for evasive. And... Okay, one advanced sensors, and then this is the two turns, getting the plus two probe and 20% sight sensors and initiative, which is a bonus. That's actually really nice to have. I prefer it in a vehicle pilot, but that's not bad. And Wrangler, so, okay. We got one vehicle pilot, so we need to find a vehicle pilot. Um, let's just have a quick look in the hiring hall. We've got to have somebody that's on standby, at least. Okay, so we do have a couple of pilots here that we can actually hire. And it's weird that they're all Ronin because uh, I basically turned that off. Schmuck. Yeah, I don't think... Put, oh. Much as I like Oddball, uh, Athletic, Comstar, Dependable, Gladiator, Honest, Bonus Initiative, Spacer, Brave. This guy's got like... has it all. How, how, what? But now I just have to put up with his friggin' voice the whole time. That's the problem. Orders. Okay, Dragon 66. What are we looking at with you? Bonus health and recoil bonus. That's perfect. Uh, merchant, dependable, gladiator. Yeah, so this is what we have. Punch, click, physical, melee, damage, percent, stability. So yeah, it's a bonus damage is what it is. Okay, so that's not bad. Um. Okay. Good to go. Smirk. Kind of reminds me of Terry Crews. What's he got? Ex-military, bonus initiative, lost tech experience for bonus from mech tech. Reduce the cost and upkeep for by arg 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 bleh, upgrades by 5%. Whew. So I think it's going to be Dragon. You know, the other thing too is I could hire... Dragon and Smirk, and we'll drop somebody. I know I said I didn't want the name pilots, but... Man, we got, like, faux shizzled on this. I mean, this is pretty bad. Okay, uh, I think that's what we do. Let's have a look at Archer here first. 
Tortugan Dependable Periphery, Gang Enforcer, so not much there, but we do have Gunnery 3. Orders. Igor, not much there. Yes, Outcast, commander. I mean, we don't really have a choice because we need, we need a pilot for the vehicle, so we'll probably hang on to Outcast. Yeah. Okay, Red Velvet, nothing but Periphery, so I think we can get rid of you right away. Uh, Orders. Scourbug, anything good? Technical, okay, that's not bad. Comstar Alkali, plus one mech tech. That's pretty good. We can hang on to that. Nobility costs us, but that's fine. Oh, you got Comstar, too. Sensor, plus another mech tech. So one and a half mech tech, that's pretty good. What? Talk about oh. we're definitely keeping. And Wrangler, I think we keep because of the stats, but let's just see. Merchant, so that's going to help a little bit. Pirate crew. Um, sure. Okay, so we dropped one. I think we gotta drop at least one more. Order. So what did you have again? We want to keep you. Ready for orders. I think Igor's gotta go. Honest. Well, morale bonus. Right here. Mm-hmm. Archer's got more skill at the moment. Criminal though. Dependable's not bad. Stability damage reduction. Prove panic resistance, but I think I'm going to drop our Archer and keep Igor or Igor, depending on who you who you talk to. Uh, so let's, let's dismiss Archer. Okay, now let's hire those other two. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oops. Ooh, we'll check this in a second. I didn't want to go to the store. I want to go to uh, hiring hall. Okay, Dragon 66. New mech warriors Wait, and available. Smirk. All right. New mech warriors available. Barracks. What are we dealing with here? Do they have any bonus points? Don't think they do, Daddy do they? Bond. Oh, he does. So gunnery for sure. Let's Training confirm that. Confirmed, and Smirk, got you got points. Done. We'll put some gunnery. And probably tactics so we can spot the enemy a little better and plus get the initiative bonus. Let's go that for mech now. Warrior training complete. And then our main pilot. So I thought a lot about what I want to do for skills for this guy. And like I said, I want to stay evasive. Um, I want to be fast. So I'm thinking, well, let's just actually turn up everything to four to start. Um, but I was thinking, and you guys let me know in the comment section what you think. Um, my thought was to go uh, with... On this one, it would be escapist for maximum evasion. And then here we would go phantom mech. Right? To increase our ECM um, and reduce our visibility on enemy sensors. Right? That's going to keep us hidden for a fair bit. And if we end up with a really fast mech, then the bonus to um, like plus two evasive and the, the ECM and everything is really going to help us out. And then I would probably go and take, uh, as weird as it sounds, I would probably take, since it's a duelist, I would probably end up taking Cautious because the ability to remove one bar of stability when reserving is huge. So think of it this way. If I jump, right, which I want to probably do a lot in this in this uh, playthrough with this guy, let's do a lot of jumping to get as much evasion as possible, right? I'm going to lose stability every single time I jump. So if I, because it's a, usually going to be a one-on-one -on -one battle or a two-on-two, -two, right? If we're alternating turns, I let them go first, then I go, then they go, then I go. It doesn't matter how much I reserve. So every time I reserve, I reduce one bar. So like, let's say I take a couple of, a couple of bars worth of stability damage, I can drop that down and then go. Rather than like having to walk or whatever, I can still drop it down by reserving and then jump and only be one bar unstable, right? So I can really, really jury rig the stability to my advantage with this. And later on when we're facing people with heavier weapons, right? I can, and if I'm running and rather than jumping, I can drop like massive amounts of stability before, before I go, right? That way I'm not having to like hide or you know, just brace to get my stability back or spend um, my uh, resolve, I can just drop it this way. 
that's my thought. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, like, if we do try to go melee all the way, you know, braces after melee and death from above, that's a possibility. But since we're not being attacked by anybody but the one mech that we're fighting, it's like, how much of advantage is that really going to give us? You know, and then uh, coolant vent or berserker. I mean, berserker, yeah, it's going to be good. Um, you know, it's it's going to definitely be helpful. But I don't know. I, I, I'm, I just have this sneaky suspicion that being able to drop all of my instability um, just by reserving, thus saving like resolve and things like that, might be a little bit more helpful. Let me know in the comments below. I'm not going to take any of these skills just yet, but that's my thought. Going two into piloting and one into tactics, I think might be the way to go. Now, gunnery is kind of good too for dropping recoil and things like that, but we can always get stabilizers and stuff to, to deal with the recoil. So that's if we're using ballistic weapons. So I'm not that concerned. If we start to go with, with, with uh, laser weapons and stuff, like if we're going to try and close real fast and go with laser weapons, then that's ir it's irrelevant, right? So um, the cold shot modifier is kind of a bonus, but I don't know if it's really that needed. I mean, once again, I'll probably post a poll and see what people think. You know, I'll just post a couple of options and see what people think. But also, comment section is really the best way to let me know. Anyway, we're going to confirm this. Training complete. All right. Uh, and that's, I think, it. I think nobody else can spend any points because nobody yes, else has any that. points. So first things first, let's go to engineering. Welcome I know we're taking a long time to get to the hunchback Absolutely. or the uh, hatchetman, but we're going to get our tech points, Roger that, um, our, our uh, power systems up and running so we can get this other stuff going here. And then let's go to we'll worry about colors and, and name in a minute. I haven't got quite a name yet, but um, I'd be open too if you guys want to uh, put a comment down below. Um, we'll figure that out in a minute. But let's go to navigation and get moving. Commander on deck. So we're going to take off and go here. This will be interesting. All right, travel. Actually, no, we're going to check the store, I think, first. Because our main group is not opposed to buying stuff and using it. My main guy can't, but the uh, the mercenaries can. So let's go to the store where the guys that I'm with can. So we got a gnome here, really. And an AC-20 carrier. That's pretty damn good armor. We'd be spending all our money, though. That's the problem. Ooh. Artemis SRM ammo is not bad. Ultra 5 double ammo. Okay, I'm going to assume that this stuff is going to be relatively common in clan space, so I'm not going to go ahead and buy any of it just yet. Um, I might take this, though. Or actually, maybe this. Because the LRM-10 that we have in the one mech is five tons. This is three and a half. So this is an immediate upgrade, and then we can figure out what we're doing after that. So let's go ahead. Ah, oh, man, I'm just afraid now. See, here's the issue with fighting in clan space. With all these royal mechs. If we lose heat sinks, I don't think there's any way to get them back. It's going to be, I mean, we've got an extra mech that we can pull stuff from, but. So I think we take this. I know it's 400,000, but it's going to be a direct upgrade. Available. Um, and I think that's it. So let's have a look. Mech bay real quick. Normally I go through the mechs and make adjustments, but we'll see how it's going. So this Wavern has got a standard heatsink kit in it. Oh shit, we do have to do, um... Okay. Alright, let's do a little work. So this first episode, I don't think we're gonna get into any fighting. Normally I try to set up all this stuff before we go, but uh, do I just strip the locust? No, I don't think so. I think we want to go... Uh, I said we want to go with the large or the long-range stuff. 
These guys have double heat sinks as well. Wait, how fast are these guys? Not bad, 6.9. You're 6.9. 4.6, not that fast. And you're really fast. Now, thinking having a fast backstabber might be a really good idea. So if we do do this, and I don't know how many heat sinks the Wavern's going to need either. So we do have the Royal Heat Sink Kit here that we can pull out. ER large, medium, lots of double heat sinks, the mask. Hopefully, man, hopefully we get parts early. All right, the Wavern. So this is going to be our heavy hitter. XL engines, we only need three heat sinks. And if we can get more armor on this guy, that would be nice too. Do I want to drop the jump jets? 180 core. All right, let's just put the thorn into storage. Okay, let's have a look here. Okay. We've already got an XL. We've got a 120, so it's not that great. All right, so let's figure out what we're going to do. Let's pull the heat sinks. We're already going to save some weight because we were, we're way over heat, heat sinked for this thing. Pull the LRM 10. Uh, we've already got endo steel on this guy, so we're going to need three heat sinks. So one, two, and three. LRM 15. And then we need the double heat sink. Oh, it's built in. No! <laughs> oh. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I think I want to keep the large pulse. So we're dropping the LRM-10, putting the 15 in. I think that's a no-brainer. Heat efficiency is garbage. Whew. How much heat are you generating? 27, which is less than this. So... Whew. That's including jump, though, right? So 27, uh, 36... 39, 48, maybe it's not, 63, it's not including jump. Got a ton and a half, I mean we could ditch the small laser and get two heat sinks. We may end up having to be a ground pounder. How are you doing? So you got a royal heat sink. Yeah, it's built in, man. Okay, you're not too bad. Pharaoh. A couple tons of gauss rifle. Okay, so the armor is okay on this guy except for the back. So I think you're ready to go. Yeah, these things are just built in, right? They're good mechs, but with the double heatsink kit built in, it's like... Can't do much about it. Um, I'm thinking we're going to pull the small laser off and add half a ton of armor. I think that's... I think it has to be done. Just to try and stay alive with this guy. Hopefully nobody gets around behind us. I mean the mask should keep us pretty relatively mobile. I don't I, I don't expect to close with the small lasers anyway, so let's validate that. Confirm it. Right. I'll get I think it we might do something similar with this guy. So actually the armor's not too too bad. We might just pull the regular medium off and just go with the bonus weapons. Right? So there's nothing else we can fit in here. 
So I think we go... I think we have to do this. If we're going to use this guy as a striker... Then I think we have to try and max out our armor here. Which should be pretty darn close, I think. Yeah, not too bad. I think we'll have to take that. If we get backstruck by anybody, we're dead, but... He will validate you. Don't worry, we got time. When we're jumping, we got time. So the Sentinel's fine. So the waiver and we need heat sinks for. We should be able to get those in the store. Um, hopefully. Regular heat sinks. There's a clan double heat sink. It just teasing me now. No regular heat sinks. No heat sinks at all. Whew. Just punch me in the dick. Okay, well, I guess we're jumping. Let's go. We'll see if we can get some on the way. Or, yeah, we'll see if we can get some on the way. All right, let's see what we got our, uh, with our hatchetman here. Hopefully it's not the stock. 3X, is that the stock one? Ready to fight, Commander. Oh, man. Why do I feel like this is a stock uh, hatchetman? Oh god, please don't be please don't be stuck. Please don't be stuck. Oh no. Oh <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. It's not so bad. That's not too bad. The acid ammo is not too bad. It just means that we need we need to get real 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 close to the enemy. Heat efficiency is garbage. Armor is okay. Okay, we can work with this, I think. I think, though, we might want to pull a tiny bit off the legs, a tiny bit to the torso, with all the ammo, and hope we win this first battle that we get and, like, are able to... That's a lot of machine guns. AP ammo, though, so we might get lucky. Right? Maybe? Like, why would you make a melee mech with a speed of 4.6? Anyway, <laughs> sure. Oh, well, you got a ton of ammo, too. You know when that's done. Okay. <laughs> we're on our way, boys. Sorry, we're on our way, people. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. There's more than just boys in the crowd. All right. Um, yeah, we can't do anything with the mechs. Let's just keep going. Oh, my God. We're going to get... Brutalized. That work order is complete. Okay, thanks. Now, um, if I, may say so. I think we need to go second mech bay first. All right, I'll get the team on it right away. I was thinking about going with the training module, but the little bit we get from that won't make a big deal. If I was jumping out of here, what? Do we not traveling? Oh, for crying out loud! By your command. Differences it make. If we were jumping to the inner sphere, I would definitely go with the uh, the um, training module first, just to get the extra XP for the pilots. But we're not, so yeah, we'll pass on the Solaris one for now. We are in clan space, off on a dangerous mission to track down some. Hey, boss! We've just completed those upgrades. Thank you. Thank you very much. To track down some um, uh, smoke jaguar rebels that have fled the battle. Uh, let's go to uh, engineering again. I've got some things to update you on. And let's get our second mech bay up and running at full speed. Sure thing. It'll take a bit, but we'll get it done. Then we'll worry about the training module. All right. Actually, what do we got in the store here? Can always travel in the system. Oh, they got toadies. Clan streaks. Any regular? Are we not going to find any regular uh, heat sinks out here? Laser heat sink kit. Ah, uh, man. I'd be blowing all our money. We'd never be able to get out of here. Clan SRM4s. Okay. Let's just keep going. Wish I could buy it for the Hatcherman, but I can't. I shouldn't have put that rule for myself, but... Those upgrades you asked we had to do something. Alright, um... 
It's going to be hard getting missions. Let's go to um, engineering again. This time we're going to go training modules. Roger get that, that up and running. I'll get, the crew moving. get a little bit of morale for that too, which is not bad. Okay, so when we get there, we'll get there when we get there. Um, when we get there, what we're going to do is going to save before we get to the planet. And then... Um, I've got the financial report. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're going to save before we get to the planet. And then once we're there, um, we'll check to see if we've got any um, solo missions. See, this kind of thing would be great. It's just such a... I mean, we it goes up in heat, but it's a weight saver. Ah, Ultra 20. We're just not going to find regular heat sinks. Oh, I gotta hope some of them drop then, or at least we get a um, double heat sink kit. The stuff out here is juicy, but with no C bills, it's uh, I'm just spending money for nothing at this point. Okay, let's keep going. So we'll save before we get there. So the rules for our pilot are, are thus. Top not to work, if I may say so. Well, thank you, thank you very much. Our rules for our main pilot. I gotta watch how much money I spend on engineering hey, too. Boss. Nice to see you. It's gonna go fast. I think we get these two upgrades here, and then we stop for right. now. I'll get the team on it right away. Um. So, we're our mech that we have, our pilot, the duelist pilot, is only allowed to use the salvage that he gets out of his battles. Um, if he's going to buy something at the store, it has to be with the money left over after repairs that he's made for the mission. Uh, if that money that he makes for the mission is over, um, I forgot to say before we got there, um, if that um, money he makes is over, the money that it costs to repair, then we put it in his, in, uh, I call record how much it is, and then that's how much you'll have to spend in the store if he wants to buy something. But other than that, his basic repairs, will, if it's, if the money that, um, if his repairs cost more than what he makes, then the overage will just be covered by the, the uh, unit. Um, so we'll just see how that goes. I want to try and limit it as much as I can to just to just, just him. So let's have a quick visit to the store here before we start. So our main guy starts off with zero coin. Zero collateral, so Ultra 2. I'm almost considering, like, grabbing, like, some clan... Oh, oh there's a clan... Ah, oh, man. Some clan Ultra weapons as opposed to the Goss rifle, because that's going to be a hit-or-miss thing, and I don't know. All right, well, we're here. Let's do this. Command Center. I'm hoping there's a uh, single duel here. Uh, there is at one skull. Solo duel in the desert. Shit. Wolf has requested a field test in the new Alpha Sibco. Rogue's Gallery has been a valuable ally and would like our new generation to pick up some skills. Don't hold back. Pilot's going to be putting everything they've learned into this fight. The clan wants to teach some real life lessons to them. Oh, God. One is just going to be too much, I think. Do we do it, though? I mean, do we just say fuck it and see what happens? Because here's the problem. If we get completely destroyed, then we've got nothing, right? This is the reason why I didn't want to start in clan space. Well, let's try it. Worst case scenario, we get completely obliterated, and then I have to adjust how we're going to uh, deal with it. Maybe we have to um, pull off a couple of missions with the regular Lance and then get some gear for this guy. We'll see how it goes, but let's just negotiate this. Uh, definitely going to go full salvage, except... Hatchet Man. We've spent our points, so we're good to go. Oh, we're going to get destroyed. Oh, let's hope it's not bad. Command interface initiated. Alright, so this doesn't look too bad, I guess. I was just thinking about our mech on the way down here. I'm like, okay, this is actually not a bad mech for a duelist. We got acid ammo. We got AP machine gun ammo. Oh, I don't like this map, though. They're on the high ground to start. So jump, we get 
three. And sprint, we get three. We get better distance, so let's get over here. Onward. All right, let's hope we're facing. Um, they will be done. Somebody that has zero experience. <laughs> Gonna try and stay Got behind as much rock as I can before we get there. Hopefully they're not in, in direct fire. Okay, did that? Yes, Commander. It's weird because it sounded like a vehicle moving, but I don't. I, there's no way, way it's a vehicle. Double time. I know some of the mechs sound like vehicles now. Now we gotta cross this friggin' open terrain. I think we go this way. Holy shit. He got up on us pretty quick. Damage is light. Alright, what are we dealing with? Spectre. Three energy weapons, so large and two medium. Not bad. Not bad. Except our chance to hit. That's really bad. Okay, I'm going to sprint over here and get in the trees. It's going to help us a little bit. Wow. Not going to hit unless I fire. Not going to hit even if I fire. Succeeded in missing the target. Yep, I saw that. Let's see what he does. Yeah, get closer. Get closer. If we end up going into a uh, back battle, we're going to lose. Okay, why did it get so much reduction in damage? I await your command. Thirty-four percent. Well, it sure is hell better than the uh, weapons we're using. Sure, let's go for I'm going. it. Chop, chop. Nope, not today. I love the accent. Okay, we got one, oh, two acid out and some machine guns. Maybe he's panicking. He's going to panic and run now. You run. Nope, not today. Coming around behind me. Watch the flank. Yeah, I can't win the battle if he's going to do this. Losing lots of armor. Waiting for orders. He is out of my melee range. Twenty-eight percent. It's certainly better than the uh, weapons chance. Yeah, he's going to... Sh oh, man. He is going to shred us. Move order received. This guy is going to shred us. There's not a damn thing I can do about it. That drops our ch chance to hit. Leave it there then. We're gonna run out of asset ammo real fast. Just gotta get behind him. That's all we gotta do. Gotta get behind him. Hopefully he closes a bit. I mean, if he comes around behind us again, which he's gonna do. Of course he is. At least we can get behind him now. Still 34%. Let's drop some heat so we can get some movement going. Physical weapon. 
Here we go. We're rolling. Locked on for physical attack. God damn. Oh no. I wish I could get initiative on him. He's just gonna come behind me again. That's it. It's game over. Weapon system down. Ready for orders. Um, do we have the ability to melee? We do not have the ability to melee. Yes, we do. Punch is 54. Physical weapon is 60. What's the damage? 73, though. Slightly better with a kick, but this is going to be upper body probably. Chance to get through the back armor. Well, we don't have much choice. At least we, ooh, at least we maintained our weapon. There you go. Enemy destroyed. Then go down. Mission successful. Man, we got so lucky there. Holy crap, we got lucky. It's going to cost us a ridiculous amount of money to fix this thing. Now, I, I mean, at least it's a stock model, so it won't be that bad. But still, oh, man. So we're going to get most of this stuff, it looks like. All of it, I think. Ooh, we have a chance to get a full Spectre. Um, now, i got to think about what I want, though. If I grab the Chameleon LPS, that's probably the best thing to grab. We don't have an ECM, but... We probably get it in the draw. The only thing is, is we can't field our mech now because I don't have any heat sinks. I have, I don't have any heat sinks to fix it. But let's just see. Okay, we got the three Spectre parts: SLDF cockpit, which we already, oh, we don't have, but we will, we do now. And fire control system standard. Okay, that's a, actually a pretty good upgrade. We're gonna check out what the Spectre's got though. All right, we lost like almost all of our firepower. 160 grand, yeah. I mean, we knew it was going to be bad the first mission. At least we survived, though. That's the bonus. Uh, let's have a look at the mech bay here real quick. So it's going to take a little while to get this thing fixed. So we lost... Oop, hatchetman here. Uh, we can't really tell. At least we have the machine gun ammo. But, I mean, the two SRMs, the acid ammo, and a medium laser we lost... Ouch. But let's have a look at the Spectre. Um, we're going to actually... We want to bring that up forward now. How long until refit harness is two days? So we're going to wait to bring the Spectre forward until we get the next two ship upgrades done. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this episode here. And then probably um, what I'll end up doing is do two... I think I'll do two separate channels or, or two separate um, uh, playlists. I'll do one for the Duelist and then one for the Royal Mechs. And yeah, I think we'll go that route. Um because I might not be recording every single mission I play with the uh, the Royals. I will with the I will definitely with this duelist guy for sure. Any mission I, I take will definitely be uh, recorded. But I think what I'll do with the other guys is that if it's a milk run and there's nothing going on, I'm not going to bother recording it. So I'll do a second channel for that or a second um, playlist for that, and we'll run that way. Um, but I'm going to end this episode here, guys. Um, I really appreciate uh, all the comments you guys had and answering my polls. So I hope you hope you enjoy the first start to this series. Um, if you guys uh, enjoy it, please drop a like. And if you know, please drop your comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think we should do for the main pilot. Um, 
and I'll probably post a poll for that as well too. You might actually see the poll before the mission gets posted, um, but we'll see see how that goes. Um, but yeah, and uh, you know, I'm just gonna leave it here. Till next time, we'll see you later.